From the observation deck of the Eiffel Tower, wander with us to Paris, France for part three of our video series. Hi everybody, this is Miko and Robin and we're Wander, Wander Open, Open Roads. Roads. So on our uh, exploration of the Eiffel Tower, we decided to take the tour that goes up to the second floor, which is 674 steps. So uh, yeah, you know, you're definitely going to get a little, a little workout in, you know, that's okay. If you want to go all the way to the top, there is an elevator that you take from the second floor that takes you all the way up to the top. You definitely don't want to walk all the way to the top. That's like 1100 and some odd steps, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a... A nice little trek. Um, it was it was it was raining and a little overcast on our day, so you know those weren't the best conditions. But I was really surprised that you could still see the whole city, you know, pretty pretty clearly. So even though it was overcast, still good visibility from the top. The Eiffel Tower climb is definitely something that I would recommend. Um, it's relatively cheap. I mean, you know, ten twelve bucks a person. Just go up to the uh, second floor. I think it's a little bit more to go up to the, to the very top. Um, I guess the most disappointing thing, though, is when you're looking over the beautiful city of Paris. It's really nice, but you know you don't see the Eiffel Tower because you're in the Eiffel Tower. So you know, and you're always kind of looking for the Eiffel Tower whenever you're in Paris as a as a as a landmark. So. I mean, as funny as that as that sounds, that is really kind of the only disappointing thing about it. When you go to other observation decks in the city, you're like, oh, hey, there's the Eiffel Tower. That's always that landmark that you look for. And what you're seeing here um, in the in the distance is that's the actually actually the downtown business district of Paris, uh, which is pretty neat. Also, we didn't get a chance to go check it out, but uh, next time we will. So for whatever reason, they make you walk up the stairs, but then when you're going down, they let you take the elevator, which is uh, kind of neat. And, um, you know, so you definitely get a different perspective, but uh, still kind of a cool view uh, going down in the elevator on the Eiffel Tower. And I will say that uh, there, there was a lot of, um, uh, I'll say construction and beautification that was going on at the Eiffel Tower that looks like they were painting the tower and doing other improvements to get ready for the Paris Olympics uh, in 2024. So on a rainy day in Paris or any city, uh, it's always nice to find a nice museum to spend some time in. And uh, we went to the Cendre Pompidou, which is uh, one of the, uh, gosh, well, probably one of the most famous uh, modern art museums in the world. It's uh, it's a huge museum. You could spend a lot of time here, um, you know, just enjoying a variety of different types of art, sculptures and paintings and different things. Um, there are Picassos here and all types of different uh, artists. So definitely something to check out. Now we got to check out so many great museums in Paris because we got a Paris pass and we're not being paid by Paris pass to say this. We're, I'm just telling you, you know, what we actually did. So if you go to parispass.com, um, they have different packages. You can get a two day, three day, four day, or six day. Um, the, the four and six day passes actually include the museum pass. So that's what we did. And that's why we got to go to so many cool museums. And it was really, it was, it was really kind of worth it. I mean, you, you have to go to quite a few museums, but we really wanted to do that to get the biggest bang for the buck. And for us, it was worth it to get the Paris pass. Uh, Cause we got to, I mean, we got to do so much stuff. It also came with some uh, front of the line privileges, which were definitely helpful in uh, some of the um, destinations that had a lot more people there. So yeah, check that out. And of course, Notre Dame was closed due to the fire, but still some cool shots from the outside. Now, a place that we went that was totally beautiful was the Conciergerie, which is a former courthouse in prison in Paris um, that was originally part of the former royal palace. And it also includes a uh, an old 
medieval chapel called St. Chapelle, which is probably one of the most beautiful places I have ever been to. Um, this building and area is famous because this is where Marie Antoinette uh, was imprisoned, tried, and sentenced uh, to, to the guillotine um, during the revolution. Now, if you want to go to this destination, um, we actually went to it through the Paris Pass, but it is one of many destinations of even though, even if you have the pass, you still have to go online and book a timed entry. So that that is that is something that it, that they're doing in a, in a lot of cities, but that we definitely saw in in Paris for uh, some of the main attractions. And of course, walking down the street anywhere in Paris, there are all types of opportunities to put on some extra weight with some gelato and yummy treats. <laughs> Now, uh, another cool thing that we did was we hopped a train and we went out of the city to the Palace of Versailles. Uh, it was about an hour train ride from the city center on the RER train, uh, which is part of the metro system, so it's very convenient. And it, it was actually a nice ride out there too. So um, Versailles was totally awesome. It is something that you definitely have to see. It is very beautiful. Of course, Versailles is the former royal residence that was built by King Louis uh, the 14th. And um, it has, uh, I mean, it's about 15 million people per, per year visit Versailles. It's one of the most popular tourist attractions in the world. It started out as a hunting lodge in the 1600s. And then ex they, he expanded it into a chateau uh, where it actually at one time beca became the um, the headquarters basically for the French government. Um, and then, um, you know, this was, uh, I guess around the time of, um, after the French Revolution, Napoleon actually came there and restored it as a summer residence. So, um, a lot of history, a lot of art, um, just a really beautiful place to, to visit. Now there are so many works of art and, and paintings in Versailles because in 1830 King um, Louis Philippe the first uh, decided to transform the palace um, into a museum uh, basically holding it, it was basically the museum of the history of France um, so you know there were paintings that were brought there from the Louvre um, and, and other locations so I mean a lot of these paintings just never left uh, from that from that time so I mean it you know it's it's really kind of an art museum in addition to all of the other history that, that it holds.
Versailles should definitely be on your list for anyone wanting to visit Paris. It was as impressive as any of the art museums we went to, any of the buildings that we viewed and enjoyed the architecture. I mean, you know, it was it was just magnificent, it really was. So definitely make time, you know, take a, even if it's just a half a day, um, you could definitely spend a whole day there, but even if you just take a half a day, take the train ride out early and go check out Versailles, you will be very happy you did. So once we were back in Paris, uh, we checked out the Picasso Museum, which, I mean, you know, <laughs> a lot of the museums in Paris are in just old buildings that have been repurposed. This is in a 17th century hotel building that is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, the, the building itself is an artwork, but uh, in terms of the Picasso Museum, it was really nice. There were over 5,000 works from Picasso in this building. Um, and it is definitely worth checking out. Also a part of the Paris Pass uh, that we uh, were able to take advantage of. So, you know, definitely, so, you know, here, here's the, <laughs> so just a stairwell of, of that hotel building. You know, once again, um, you know, Paris does a really good job in repurposing uh, buildings, you know, older, older buildings for, for museums and things like that. And, you know, the buildings themselves are just work, you know, works of art as well. So, love it. And we definitely had to check out the uh, Dali Paris, the Salvador Dali Museum. Um, there are over 300 works by Salvador Dali. Uh, there's a the, the largest museum is in is in Spain. He he, he was a Spanish artist. Uh, there's also a very large museum in uh, Saint Petersburg, Florida, that we've been to that 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 we really enjoy. A lot of his larger pieces are in the Saint Pete Museum. But uh, this was also a, a nice collection of, of works from Salvador Dali. He was a resident of Paris uh, for many years. So on the way to dinner on our final night, we walked by the famous Moulin Rouge. It's a, definitely a cool place. Uh, we didn't have a chance to check out a show while we were there, but we definitely will next time. And we ended our trip with a traditional French meal at a wonderful restaurant that also had live music that we were able to enjoy. <laughs> If you have any any questions um, about uh, if you're planning a trip to Paris and want some tips or have any questions or anything, please leave us a comment and we will answer it for you. Thanks so much for joining us on another Wander Open Roads adventure and we will see you next time. Wander safely. Be sure to check out our selection of travel apparel at shopredsquare.com and our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description. Thank you.